Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a poor boy flatter. Now, this isn't, the name may sound familiar because this isn't exactly anything that was my design. This is something I saw at a quad state. And as far as I know, the guy that had came up with this design, I believe his name was Chip. I don't remember what his last name was. But anyways, uh, you know, he was responsible for the terminology, a poor boy flatter, okay? And so anyways, or a poor man's flatter, a poor blacksmith's flatter, and I'm going to show you guys how to take and make that today. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a small drilling hammer. This could be smaller than two pounds. It doesn't have to be two pounds. And, you know, the lighter this is, the better off you are. You, bigger it is, the harder you have to strike to transfer the energy. But the trade-off is, the larger this is, the larger the flatter you can have. But this works out to be about right. So, I'm going to go ahead and point this out right now. This says, lifetime warranty. We are about to ruin that lifetime warranty. So you're never going to get that warranty back. Uh, so if that matters to you, don't do what we're about to do. So as you can see, we've got something, a piece of metal right here. What we're going to do is we're going to cut this off. Now, I've already got some layout lines, and the way that I've done this is with a speed square. So I found the corners, okay, and went diagonal, corner to corner. I found out roughly how wide this piece is and transferred that to its length. So this way we've got a perfect square. The square, or semi-perfect. I say perfect. Anyways, ha. We've got a square. This square is three and a half inches by three and a half inches long. So whatever that is in, in metric there. Uh, I'll try to put that on the screen somewhere in here, this area right there. But anyways, that's what we've got in square dimensions. And essentially, I laid it off this way to find center. And then I laid off the dimensions of this hammer face squarely here to this. So this way we can take and keep the whole piece nice and squared up and have a lot to eyeball here to make sure we're in the center of this flatter. Now, you might already be able to start guessing. How are we going to put this to this? We are going to weld this. And this is what makes this so great. We have to preheat the face a little bit with a torch, just so this way we can avoid any breaking or chipping. And then we're going to preheat this face a little bit, or heat this face to soften it out of the temper, so or to temper it, so this way we can hammer on this end without busting out chips and flinging dangerous chips at ourselves. So we're going to do that, and then that'll be our first step. The next thing we'll do is we will preheat this chunk. This piece is half inch thick material or 12.5 mil. So you want a fairly thick material. I wouldn't suggest anything less than about a half inch thick for best results. The surface, however, does not have to be polished clean. You can do that if you want. But if it's got a little bit of grit and texture to it, that's not going to matter. It'll eventually, over time, clean itself off with just the abrasion of working on hot material. So. First step, we'll go ahead and get these pre-tempered. We'll temper these to about a blue color, and then we will get this all welded up. I'll go ahead and do the cutting off camera. That way we can just boogie right along here, and then hopefully I can show you guys how this works and how it works out. Okay, everybody, so here we go. This is going to be pretty much basic. So I went ahead and got the hammer head all heated up. And now we're going to get all our tacks on all four corners. We're going to take one pass around, and then we're going to take a larger pass around just to better support this hammer head. Two welds are a lot better than just one, or at least I believe they are. Now while this is just still smoking, you can see some of that paint. I've got a, I've got an air, uh, a blower running in the shop to suck all that fumage out of there. We'll give her a little go here. 
So here's just some lightweight metal. This is probably what you'd consider maybe 20 gauge material. And then the next part that I'm heating up here is probably eighth inch thick material. So whatever that is, I want to say that's 10 gauge, roughly around 10 gauge material. And we're just going to iron out a little lump on it. And that's what you got. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to leave a like and a comment. God bless you, and we'll catch you on the next one.